So today we're making homemade Butterfinger candy bars. And I've already put the caro syrup in here. I put in two cups of caro syrup and then two cups of water. And we're gonna add six cups of sugar. I'll just stir that real good. Get it all mixed in. And we're gonna cook this on like a medium heat. The syrup, sugar, and water until you get it to 310 degrees. And we'll make sure to put the recipe in the description below. 48 ounces of peanut butter. So if you just have a big jar, 48 ounces, you're gonna put it in a dish and microwave it till it's melted. Okay, so once you get all 48 ounces of peanut butter in a microwave bowl, then you just Microwave it like 30 seconds at a time or whatever until it's completely melted. And you just want to microwave it until it's good and melted like that. And then once the sugar and caro syrup mixture gets to 310 degrees, we'll go to the next step. You're just gonna Keep stirring it until the mixture becomes kind of clear. Okay, that was crazy fast. It went from no bubbles to like crazy amount of bubbles. It's insane. Like it is like got a real good boil going. So we'll put our candy thermometer on and wait for it to get 310 degrees. It says once it starts to boil and you add the thermometer, during this cooking period, you do not stir. Okay? So you don't stir it once you get to this point, and you just wait until it reaches 310 degrees. Once we get to that point, we'll remove it from the heat, stir in the melted peanut butter, and then put it on the cookie sheet to cut into candy bars. It's taking forever to get to 310. Look at that. We're at just not even 250 yet. It's taking forever. Oh my gosh, is it ever going to get to 310? I feel like it's taking forever. Okay. Once it's to the temperature, you add your peanut butter. How quickly I can do this. Okay, and then you stir it in as quick as you can to the sugar mixture. With a wooden spoon. Last time I made it, I didn't do quite as big a batch. <laughs> it's a lot harder to stir it the more there is. And then you pour it out into the pan. 
What should be like? Hand is super hot. Hard to hold. Which I'm struggling to do. You want to score it while it's still kind of soft. And I found it's easiest just to, to just do it with like a pizza cutter. And hopefully they're sort of uniform in size. Probably easier if you spray this with some cooking spray first. I forgot to do that. Big shout out to Chloe Vlogs for Life and Animal Lover, Animal Lover. Thanks for watching. What is that? Butterfinger cake. You gonna try it and see if it's any good now that they're cooled off? Let's see. What does it look like inside? Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Are they pretty good? Yeah? I'll put a link for Chloe's channel and Animal Lover's channel in the description below. Bye.